I'm feeling a little shellfish today. Actually, that's because I want to eat the whole thing. <laughs> We're talking about prawns today and everybody likes to gobble up all the prawns. You can't help but feel a little selfish because you never can get enough of them. So I've got some lovely tiger prawns here and they're one of the most common prawns to use in Asian cooking. And I wanted to show you because a lot of people coming to my cooking classes are always asking about how do you devein prawns. It's a simple process, but some people are a little bit embarrassed to actually ask about it because they're not sure what to do. But what happens is there's a, there's a track along the top side of the prawn tail. And that is basically where a lot of the things that's eaten has gone through. So if it's, if it's a bit dirty, it, it shows. So people like to clean that out. Now sometimes it will be there and sometimes it won't. It just depends what the prawn was eating. So oi, let's take the knife in here, put it in the tail, right down the spine like this, open it up and you see there's the vein that you want to take out. So you just lift that right out, put it to the side, okay? And there's a little bit at the front. So now you've deveined your prawn. Now you can continue with that and cut down a little bit further and butterfly your prawn and actually spread it open. Okay? Now a little technique I want to pass to you when it comes to cooking prawns the Asian way is just like when you cook crab. Quite often if you shallow fry your prawns or deep fry them briefly, you will soften up the shell. The shells are actually quite healthy for you. There's something in there called chitin that helps break down fat. And if they're softened up, you can digest them. I know that when I have tempura prawns, I eat the whole thing including the tail at the end. So that's the secret is the deep frying, softening up the shell. Also make sure you don't overcook your prawns because it's no good having a tough you know, a prawn that's being overcooked, it just is not as enjoyable to eat. You want it delicate. So they don't need to be have a long cooking time. Usually until they've turned color on both sides is all you need. I've butterflied one, so that's another simple way of doing it on the grill. Simply uh, just baste them with garlic and, and oil and grill them and serve them with a Thai dipping sauce or a hundred different ways. Of course, garlic, which is my signature, goes well with everything. It certainly goes well with prawns. Now some other seafood I wanted to talk about is mussels and clams. Very important to know that when you buy mussels and you buy clams, they should be shut, okay? When you're about to cook them, if you've got a mussel that's wide open, that doesn't close once you pour water over it or tap it, then that means it's dead and you want to throw it out. When you finish steaming them or stir frying them, they should be all open. At that point, if one of them is closed, that means it's no good. So when they're cooked, closed is no good, toss out. When they're raw, and they're wide open, that means they're dead, toss them out. So be very careful, okay, because you don't want to get sick. You can easily, especially if you're out picking these up off the seashore yourself. And if you do do that, make sure you phone fisheries and find out when the red tides are, because the last thing you want to be doing is taking up shellfish at a time when you're going to get extra toxins in your body and maybe even poison yourself quite seriously. Both these clams and mussels are very common in Asian cooking. The varieties that we have here are usually PEI mussels, there's local BC mussels, and also there's New Zealand mussels. They're nice, simply steamed, and uh, with the traditional Western style or Asian style with uh, fresh herbs thrown into it, uh, curry paste, different sauces. Mussels and clams make a wonderful communal meal where you can all get in and eat together. So enjoy yourself, try something different, try fresh mussels, fresh clams, prawns, eat them the Asian way. I'm Spicy Steve for Shaw TV. For recipes and information on cooking classes, visit SpicySteve.com.